Hello everybody. I'm Bandula Singer from Sanit Immigration. Uh, just thought of giving you an update about uh, opportunities in Canada. Mm, at the moment, I mean today is uh, what? Uh, today is 28th of June 2024. Things, I mean, in terms of permanent migration to Canada, looks different to. Uh, a few years back at the moment what I can see is uh, from the information we get and also the selection patterns and everything uh, those who are competent in French language and also who have work experience in healthcare including caregivers but certain type of caregivers not all uh, and basically almost all types of uh, health care workers nurses doctors um, pharmacists medical laboratory technicians um, radiation technology so whatever uh, they stand a very good chance at the moment so uh, the age we can at, go up to around 43 years of age however when you when your age increases from uh, beyond 29 you lose points you know this is based on a point system uh, so when you lose points your chances uh, gets less unless you can compensate uh, for the loss from some other side for example if you are below 30 uh, even a degree uh, could be good enough even uh, IELTS results uh, or even the PT test is also acceptable at the moment for Canadian migration it was not in the past uh, say if you are below 30 even with 6 6.5 uh, IELTS a general test could be good enough with a degree or sometimes with a degree and another one year qualification or a master's degree however if you are like 43 uh, you have to have most of the time uh, two qualification like a degree plus another one year or ideally master's degree plus eight for listening and seven each uh, in the ILTS uh, general test um, and three years of work experience and uh, one year out of those three years must be in the healthcare field uh, and ideally three years in the healthcare field or uh, for some programs you need at least two years in the healthcare field and other one year could be in any uh, other skilled uh, category mm, yeah master's degree is uh, not a must uh, but a bachelor degree is a must uh, for uh, certain good programs uh, including the Ontario uh, immigrant nominee program and uh, yeah that's basically about it and French language French language competency not just for the Quebec province which is predominantly a French speaking province but for the other areas in the uh, in, in, in Canada also if you have level 7 French knowledge like it is equivalent to uh, ILTS like English knowledge uh, six each in each band uh, then you know the you stand a good chance you know this I think uh, French and the healthcare especially are going to be the mainstay in the future for Canadian migration I'm not ruling out other areas like uh, IT even engineers uh, but you know the if you are like changing your job so you are planning to uh, you know the get qualification and get experience in and plan plan ahead for another two three years i have seen some clients you know that they plan they after a levels they do a course and they plan it out for three four years and for in, in about three four five years you know they uh, we have clients you know who have got uh, their pr working on on a long-term plan uh, if you are working on a long-term plan the safest at the moment is healthcare and uh, also uh, French uh, on the other hand the student 
uh, visa side that we have seen people you know the choosing uh, to go as a student and uh, after basically two years of study you get a three year work permit but this landscape is going to change i have a, f a few uh, actually students you know who have studied in canada uh, you know completed uh, a, a two or three year diploma or a, a degree and have worked for uh, three years still they cannot get a permanent resident visa i'm not telling that you know this is the same for everybody uh, if you have like high demand occupation experience in canada even after student after you have studied then you stand a very good chance in, in also some other provinces also uh, depending on the provincial programs also you may stand a chance but you know the things are not as easy as it used to be for students uh, at the moment and things are going to be harder for students who are coming to Canada uh, so um, this is the actually the update uh, I can give you at the moment from Zenith immigration uh, I will be back in Sri Lanka uh, in about uh, three weeks and anyway if you need more information you can uh, drop your email address by text by SMS uh, don't call please uh, because we, ha we are getting too many calls uh, please uh, send your email address by text to uh, 0777 00 -00. within about three working days you will get an email you have to you don't have to pay anything you have you, can, you must go through that email so maybe a couple of times it might take half an hour one hour to uh, you know understand you know what is in there so you have to uh, you know make that effort you know uh, so after that uh, if you need more information 